crafters it's Denise at Crafty Dandy and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Southern California and it's another beautiful day in the neighborhood in Southern California and I just love it and I'm so happy that we could be here to make something extra special today you're gonna love this this is a shadow box pop-up card isn't this cute we're gonna be using the zany zebra but I have also some other ideas for you. This is very cool. Look how this is. And it folds in and it fits in a regular A2 size envelope. All right, isn't that cute? Don't you love the zany zebras? Well, let's talk about this for just a minute. I want to tell you that um, I first saw this type of card on a video by Jennifer McGuire very talented and then most recently by v tran another incredibly talented youtuber so just want to send a special shout out to them and special thanks to them and i just put my own little twist on it all right so let me tell you what we're going to be using so the zany zebras are in the annual catalog and this is the annual catalog that is getting ready to retire but there are some things in here you don't want to miss so here are the zany zebras I got a little R here because they're going to retire um, at the May 3rd will be the last day all right but look at all the choices here look you party animal wild about you happy birthday kick up your heels it's time to celebrate page 104 of the annual catalog and then what we're going to use to cut this hole so we can peek through is over here it's the hippo happiness and if you watch my videos you know I use this a lot so there's the stamp set and it comes with the dies now let me tell you you can order them together and you get the stamps and the dies but that's what retiring is retiring it's the bundle that's retiring and you can see the dies here well let me bring the dies over it's page 49 these are going to be in the next catalog but they won't be a bundle so you won't save 10 percent all right here are those hippo happiness dies let me pull them out so you can don't get the reflection but look at all of these shapes you can use you can use them for labels just so many different things and what I used on the zebra card was the largest one I don't even know what shape this in but it's very cool so we're gonna use that so let me set that aside let's get started oh well let me show you the zany zebras there they are oh it's gonna be sad to see them go but there are new exciting things coming so that's good but you're gonna to want to get this zany zebra okay all the ordering information will be below and all the dimensions will be below okay so here we go I'm gonna make it with red and white but I'm gonna show you how to cut it on the basic white so we're gonna go on the short edge so this is eight and a half by eleven we're gonna go on the eight and a half side and we're going to cut at six and a quarter and that's that little one right there now remember our trimmer has two things this is for scoring this is for cutting we're going to use them both today first we're going to cut at six and a quarter all right now we're going to go ahead and score and we're going to score the whole thing at once and it'll give us two all right so we're going to score at one half and then one on each side so we have one half let me get my cutting blade all the way up to the top see it goes up and pushes out of the way all right we're gonna score at half and then at one and then we're gonna turn it over the opposite side and we're gonna score again at half and then at one, making sure the cutting blade's up there, just using the scoring blade. Okay, well now we're gonna cut it in half at five and a half. So let's use our cutting blade. 
cutting plate, cut it in half. Now we have a front and a back or two fronts. So of course you can do that whatever color you want. And we're gonna stamp on it before we fold it, but I'm just gonna, for now, I'm just gonna show you. We're gonna fold this and then back, all right? This and then back. This will be folded the same way. Well, let's just do it here. and back. We could talk about valleys and mountains, but just fold it towards you, fold it away, and then we're just gonna stick these together. And once you glue them, they go in and they fit in the envelope. And then we would cut a hole out of here because you have to have your window, right? Okay, that's just to show you how to fold that. But I'm going to use red and white. This is not red, I'm sorry, this is Poppy Parade. We're going to use Poppy Parade and basic white. But first, we're gonna cut a hole in here with our die, so I will be right back. Alrighty, I'm back, and we've used our Hippo and Friends die to cut this. And we can use this on another card, so I'll set that aside. Put my die away, let's see, which should we have for the top? I think we'll have this be the top. Get something smudged on there. All right, we'll get it off. All right, well, let's go ahead and stamp. Wherever I set my stamps, here we go. Oh, I think I have them on the blocks already. So we're going to use the party hat and the stars, and I'm just gonna make them all in Poppy Parade. So I like, I just like the look of just, you know, the red and the white with our black striped zebras. So here we go, and we're gonna bring this over here, and we're just gonna, you know what, I think I'm gonna put scrap paper underneath. And we're just going to put hats around. Some of these will be covered. Be off the bottom. Right now, you go ahead and clean this stamp. Simply chamois, looks good. And now we'll bring out the stars. And just tap those here, tap those. Oh, I smudged that one a little bit. Let me just take my time a little bit with it. right or wrong to this. Just get them all over. All right, how's that look? Did I miss anything? It's usually that when I say, oh, just one more, that that's the one that I mess up. All right, got those cleaned off. Okay. We're gonna let that dry just a sec. Now, like we have we're gonna put our little our little zebra in the back there. Now I think I should have moved him over a little bit, but you know what? It still looks good. We need to put our zebra hats on. So I have gone ahead and stamped some zebras and fussy cut them out. We got some whales from another project. I got some little party hats in here. We'll put some party hats on them. All right. 
So, oh, let's see. We'll stick the zebra here. Let's see. I'm going to put it like this so we can see him. And then I like the little guy that's like looking back. He's like, come on, you coming to play? You're coming to party. All right, we're, oh, we're gonna use also the stamp. I don't know, I guess it's grass, but we're gonna I'll do that also in Poppy Parade. All right, so, and we're gonna stick him up on dimensionals, which I have right over here. Let's see, should we stamp first so we can see where it's going? dimensionals on him. I'm using the full size dimensionals. Sometimes I use the minis, sometimes I cut them in half. <laughs> but whatever works for you. All right, let's center this. Get him there. Oh, I didn't put his hat on him. Oh, I want him jumping a little bit. Okay, there's a little hat. We're gonna put just a tiny dab of the, the green glue, the Tombow. Just a dab, just doesn't take much. But I should have done this before I stuck him down. Been a little easier. Oh, well that wasn't bad. Let's go ahead and put the other hat on, hat on the one that's looking back. hat there saying come on come and play and we're gonna stick him down flat uh, the first time I did this I did not do it while it was flat it was already up but I think it's better this way and just in case I go through I'll do this on the scrap paper Right about there. How's that? And how about our it's time to celebrate? We're gonna pop that up. Get those dimensionals back here. Oh, look, see? Messed it up on the front side. Well, I I don't know what I did there. I think I just cut it in the wrong place. So, but anyway, two sides to the paper. Okay, we can move this out of the way. All right. It's time to celebrate. That could be a birthday, a congratulations. Oh, it could be all sorts of things, couldn't it? All right, set that aside. All right, well, let's go ahead and fold this now. where my bone folder is but I'm just gonna do it with the block very useful block what size is this this is an H all right Got that let's go ahead and fold this isn't he so cute Together. Oh, the other thing we might want to do first is a paper for the back because it's going to be a little hard. Well, you know what? 
I'm going to take that back. Okay, so this is going to go here, but I'm not going to stick it on yet because it might be a little difficult to write on it once it's already popped up, but I got it stamped and ready to go. He's so cute. All right, so we're going to go ahead and stick these together. I'm going to do one side at a time. Start over here. And then we want to match it up. We really do want to match it up. And special thanks to V. Tran and Jennifer McGuire for the ideas on this. Look at that. Okay, so now this will fit in an envelope. And remember, this will go on the back. And we have our shadow box pop-up card. Now I've got some zebras left. I can say, make some other things that are fun. But let me show you a couple other ones that I did, just to just to give you some ideas. Now I'm going to show you one that the paper retired. Okay, I'm very very sorry about that. The paper retired and it sold out. But there is still a stamp set that goes with this and a punch. So this is a whale done, and like I said, I'm sorry, the paper is gone, but the stamp set and the punch are still available and they are carrying over to the new catalog. But let me show you what I did here. So I used the pattern paper. So, you know, you could use this for anything. So, you know, maybe some of the new items coming out, you would want to make the same style. It's the same thing, but I did this on a little piece of acetate and just stuck it in between there and stuck this little guy in the front. Oh, I did put a piece of acetate there. Hoping all your birthday fishes come true. Isn't this cute? All right, okay, and check this next one out. I gotta tell you, in my family, this next one is the favorite. Okay, do we have a drum roll? Here we go, it's again with the zany zebras. But look at this, kick up your heels. Same thing, all right. But let me tell you, use the zany zebras here. And this is Just Jade and Granny Apple. And let me tell you what this is. This die this just goes to show you. You just, you know, look around at what you have. This die is from the mini catalog, January to June. So we've still got a while to go in this catalog. All right. This is from the Pretty Perennials. And I used the die. I just started looking through what I had, and I thought, oh, you know my little, I like that little piece right there. This is a great, great set. And I have done videos on this too. And it's a million dollar achiever stamp set from Dina Rico. I hope I pronounced your name correctly, Dina. She's great over at the Creativity Cave. All right, but isn't this cute? And I just cut a bunch of those out and stuck them all down and then put the zebras on top of them. Isn't that cute? So all this stuff is still available. Sorry, this paper is gone, but I just wanted to give you some different ideas of things that you could do with them and have so much fun. So all right, my crafty friends, remember some of these things are retiring, so you're gonna wanna get them right away. Oh, let me move over a little bit here. Hope you can see all that. All right, I'm gonna put my zebras here. This is the one we made today. What do you think? All right, well, if you like this video, would you please go ahead and give me a thumbs up? And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button along with the little bell so you can get notification when I bring out a new video. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. And until next time, stay crafty. Bye.